Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic and that is regarding the alternatives of CSI net exam. As we know that the last two CSI net exams are pending and if the CSI net exam is pending, then there is a big question mark for those who are willing to do the PhD from India. But what I can say is that CSI net is not only the exam that you can appear for doing PhD in India, there are other alternatives of CSI net. Obviously, they are not as prestigious, considered, they are not considered as, as prestigious as CSI net and as famous as CSI net, but, but there are options. It's not like that CSI net is not being conducted, so it's the end of the world. No, there are plenty of options and I know many of my students are asking this question that if CSI is not there, then what they should do? So this video is for all of those who are thinking or trying to think of something extra, something different from CSI net. So stay tuned to this video to understand different alternatives of CSI net exam, including when they will occur and the time and everything. We'll talk about all these individual exams, individual entrances throughout the series of video. But this is the very first video where we talk about basic alternatives to the CSI net exam to conduct PhD. So let's begin uh, to talk about the CSI net alternatives to do PhD in India. So the very primary thing that I can tell is the ICMR net and ICMR net as, uh, as of now I'm making the video, the admit card for ICMR is already declared. So ICMR net is another option, but there is a pro and con for ICMR. The pro is that it is easier than CSI net exam to qualify. But uh, the con is that in ICMR exam, the seat limit is only 150. So there is a huge competition and based on the idea that for the last two CSI net exams, all the candidates are on queue. They are all applying for ICMR. So there will be huge competition this time. Apart from ICMR exam, there is DBT GRF or which is known as Biotechnology Eligibility Test or BET, which is for the biotech graduates. So for other stream of life science, this is not an option. Now we come to the third one and that is uh, GET. Now GET, I never consider GET as a PhD entrance exam solely, but yes, with GET a good score, you can apply for IITs for doing PhD there. And you need to go through the written test interview in some cases only interview in some cases written as well as interview and then if you qualify then you will be given an opportunity to do PhD from IITs and you know IITs carry a brand in India so obviously doing PhD from IIT will be equivalently good to get a CSI net. So that's another option that's the third option. Now the fourth option is IARI. IARI always always also offer PhD entrance examination and it's been offering PhD entrance examination for a long time. But again, in IARI, there are selected institutes uh, and on those institutes, the number of seats are limited. Now that is 165 to 170 to 175. That is the range of number of seats that they provide. And the number of seats I'm talking about is not for general. It's including general. It's including SC, ST, OBC, uh, PWD. So all these categories are involved in on this case. So again, high competition. Now, apart from that, the other option is JGBILS, J-G-E-E-B-I-L-S, this examination. This examination is conducted jointly by TIFR and CBS. And not only these two institutes, but after qualifying JGBILS, that score of JGBILS and rank will allow you to apply almost near about 20 to more than 20 institutes in India, which I'll talk in details about my JG Bills video separately. You can watch that video in my channel. I'll put the links in the description. Also, you can search JG Bills Shomus Biology to watch that video. Now, these are all direct exams for PhD entrance examination and they offer a PhD entrance examination. That means they will offer fellowship while you do PhD there. So that's the fellowship benefit remains there like CSI net and the fellowship is also almost similar like the CSI net goes with like 30 to 31, 32,000 at the very first two years of your PhD. And then after two years, when you become a senior research fellow, your fellowship increases to 34 to 35,000 rupees per month, which is non-taxable income. 
Now, apart from this clear cut PhD entrance examinations, there are institutional PhD entrance examination. And in institutional PhD entrance examination, there are different institutes who are offering this institutional PhD entrance examination. That institute themselves offer that and you need to apply for it for a written test. If you qualify, then there will be an interview and then you will be selected. So competition is there always in India with biological sciences because what's happening is that huge number of students are passing out every single year and now the job opening is not matching up with the people coming out. So there is always a class, there is always a competition, but yes, you'll get an opportunity. So what are the institutional examinations that are available there? One is NIPER. NIPER Mohali conduct that examination. Second is University of Hyderabad. They conduct their examination. You can go there. Then the third one is NBRC Gurgaon, uh, National Brain Research Institute. That they also they also provide this uh, PhD entrance examination separately. But yes, there will be channeled PhD. For example, in case of CSINET, if you qualify CSINET, you can select the topic that you want to do PhD. But in these institutional examinations, the PhD that they are running with, they are specialized institutes of neurosciences, of brain sciences. So in that case, only you can do PhD in those topics. There is a drawback always. And there is also AIMS daily. They conduct their own entrance examination for MSc and PhD, all of this. And there is NDRI, NDRI kernel. They also offer PhD programs. You can always try that. And there is also BITS, BITS Pilani, BITS Goa. So these are the institutional examinations that you can offer. Earlier, ISAR conduct their own institutional exam. Now, all the ISARs, IIACR, there are five, six different ISARs in India. And all these different ISARs, uh, they take JG Bill score also. They accept that score also. So if you can appear in JG Bills, uh, you can get 20 more than 20 different uh, institutes as your choice to do PhD. And there are prestigious institutes, very good, strong name uh, that are there, which I'll discuss later in the JG Bills lecture. So this one is all about these alternatives. So you can see that I've given you like five different alternatives for direct PhD and also five different alternatives for an institutional PhD. And also, as I said, in case of JG bills, there are almost 20 to 20, more than 20 different institutes added uh, who can accept the JG bill score. And there's also gate. That means all the IITs are open for you. So this is not the end of the road. What I want to say is that if you belong there, if you belong to life science graduate and post postgraduate category and looking at the current situation of India, Corona situation will end soon by 2020. 22 uh, like 2022 or 22 uh, end uh, all these things are going to end eventually and we are going to see uh, everything come back to the normal situation but for now if CSINET is not being conducted don't worry all these other examinations are still there you have the chances still there so I'll talk about individual exams separately throughout this 12 video series so I want you to watch individual video all of all these 12 video series so that you get to know about all the examination in details including at the which month they release the form which month they conduct the examination as well as the examination fees the eligibility criteria uh, and the duration the fellowship everything i'll discuss separately in those separate videos so these are the all different kinds of csi net alternatives that are there that you can always appear in that you, that you can always check for even though the situation comes back normal even though csi net is being conducted you can always appear in it and the biggest advantage you will get if you prepare for csi net examination there's also UGC net, which I didn't mention there. UGC net is always there, but yes, for environmental sciences. So that's why I didn't mention it. Now, the thing is for CSI net, if you prepare, that preparation will be sufficient for most of these institutional examinations and uh, is examination like ICMR, DBT, GATE and all these places because these examinations will be comparatively easier than CSI net. CSI net is uh, the most difficult one compared to all these examination series. So if you prepare based on the CSI net syllabus, which is almost 90% of the whole life science syllabus that we know of, so you will be well prepared. The only thing that you need to do separately is that if you appear for these individual exams, you need to go there and you need to check uh, you need to go in website and check some last few years question papers if you can get if it's memory based paper it's always fine you just practice it for a while and then appear in the exam the best thing is that to get the basic knowledge if you get the basic knowledge and details about the subject then you can qualify all these exam with ease now what i can tell you is that my personal recommendation is that don't limit yourself to csi net only you can have all these things in your plate so why limit it to only one dish you get plenty of dishes so get this so that you get qualified any of the places and 
if it's a possibility that some person may not qualify in csi net but may qualify in some other institutional examinations and they are also good equally offering good fellowship so that's all about the csi net alternatives so this is not the end of the road if csi net is not being conducted this year then still other exams are being conducted they are being announced so go ahead and attend those exams with the csi net preparation so that's it so that's for this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel so that you get to know about the upcoming 12 videos that we are going to make regarding individual phd entrance examination apart from c assignment so stick to it watch all this video this will be immensely helpful for you if it is helpful then write down which exam you want to hear about which exam the details we want to hear about in the comment section and also like the video thank you bye